Hello and welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh. In this session we are going to discuss on setting up custom SSH key pairs for authentication. Friends, as we all know when we did set up of EC2 instance in past, we used the default keys generated from Amazon. That's an Amazon way, but uh, if you want to upload your own SSH keys, so that's very easy to upload to Amazon. A couple of scenarios why it would be helpful. Let's say you got uh, your legacy setup which you are migrating to Amazon. You already got some keys which are hard coded or you, do, you don't want to change. You can do it. Other reason may be in your enterprise setup, your security team is not allowing to use default Amazon keys. They want you to upload your environment's SSH keys. So uh, these are the couple of scenarios I can think of. So friends, uh, to do so, uh, I'm going to use Ansible this time because if I do it normally, that's very easy. Why I'm using Ansible? So you guys would be more comfortable with Ansible after watching this video. So here, uh, if you remember, this is the server which I'm using for my AWS CLI management. And on this server, I am logged in as root. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to generate uh, SSH keys for root. But before that, uh, I just want to show you uh, there are no keys at Amazon side at this time. If you see this particular bit is blank, it means there are no key pairs at present. Okay, friends. So now I'm going to generate the keys for root user SSH key gen, and I'm going to generate RSA keys. So type RSA here. This is the file. No path errors. Enter, enter. Okay, so friends, my keys are generated, and here I'm just going to cat public key file because this is the file which we have to upload. Uh, I'm sure you know what is id underscore rsa and id underscore rsa dot pub, pub is for public. So you can say this is your lock and your actual key which is your private key this one. This is key to open this particular public lock. So on Amazon side we have to upload the public key. I'm pressing enter here. This is the key. I'm just copying it. And I have already prepared one Ansible playbook. So we can easily upload the keys. I'm just editing that. So here uh, I want to explain how this playbook work. But let me just quickly paste the keys here. Okay, so it's done. Okay, friends, uh, this is normal command started with hash and host is local host. I have typed because uh, this is going to Amazon. Uh, that's not going to some particular host. And this is the task. This is the name. I have named it uh, uploading my public key. You can name uh, it whatever you are comfortable with. So it not matters. And this is the EC2 module, EC2 underscore key. That's a module we are going to use. Uh, to communicate with the uh, AWS API and this is the name so this will be the key name on Amazon side and when you are generating or uploading keys uh, just make sure don't put uh, empty spaces or some invalid characters so I would prefer single file name not like yogi space AWS keys so that's not recommended just keep uh, file name normal without spaces and here it's region sorry I typed it incorrect and this is the region whenever we are communicating with Amazon we have to tell in which region we want to do activity so that's a US West 2 which I'm using by default and key material here I have just pasted the keys which we generated a couple of seconds back and state present what it mean uh, this key need to be present in case you are deleting some key, you can put state uh, absent, so it means it will delete the key. But right now we are just uh, adding a key, so I am making sure state is present. If state is present and everything works well, 
so key would be on Amazon site okay friends I'm saving this file okay one thing I want to tell you whenever we are communicating with Amazon using Ansible we need uh, BOTO or BOTO because BOTO is uh, Python's interface uh, for communicating with Amazon right now BOTO is not installed how we can check or if you want I can show you how it will give error if that's not present I'm running Ansible playbook and this is our playbook name to upload keep here pressing enter here if you see playbook started but here it gave fatal error right so messages boto required for the for this module so all Amazon modules need boto so here I'm going to install boto but let me show you how I check whether boto is there or not if you see it got boto core but boto itself not there so to install boto pip install followed by boto pressing enter here so my server this instance is connected uh, with internet so it downloaded boto and if you see now we got boto okay let's rerun the playbook so this time it should be successful because boto is there if our playbook is fine then it would finish okay if you see here ok is equal to 2 mean all the tasks finished properly there are, there is no failed task so friends uh, our key is uploaded to Amazon site if you want to verify whether actually key got uploaded you can run same command which uh, we executed couple of seconds back from uh, Amazon I'm copy pasting the command it will SEC to describe key pairs I'm pressing enter here so there should be one key now if you see this is the key on Amazon site and whenever we are building any new instance on Amazon site we can use this key for authentication purpose no need to use Amazon's key so that's very easy and personally I recommend if you use your own keys don't rely on Amazon keys they are secure but uh, that's my personal opinion that's up to you and your environment requirement uh, thanks for watching this video friends if you have any query or any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you bye bye